allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Sabado, better known as Sabado Gigante, but not to be misconstrued for the Spanish game show that I got mixed up with, which is why I went from Sabado Gigante to Ask Sabado. Um, and, and how did I get that name? Because every day is like Saturday, my friend. I go to sleep, wake up, yo, it's Saturday again. So, uh, and, I, and I got that from a neighbor of mine uh, who once I retired said, hey, every day is like Saturday for you. And I said, that's right. And so then they started calling me Sabado and I, I rolled with it. And so welcome to the Ask Sabado channel. Um, I'm your main man, Sabado. And, and, and the purpose of this channel, which we'll get into in just a second, but it's really just to give some down to earth perspective on early retirement and, and even more importantly, owning your time. But before we go any further, I just like to ask, um, we're up to about 95 subscribers now. I'm incredibly fortunate, or as they say, too blessed to be stressed, but really, really feel fortunate to have so many people that are finding this information uh, useful. But if, if, you know, if you're one of the many people that have watched the channel, uh, you know, consider subscribing. I, I try to give good information that's poignant, uh, hits on a topic, um, and is helpful for you as, as a normal person. I'm a normal person that had the opportunity to retire early, and I, 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 I want to make sure that others have access to that same information. So on that note, let's get started. So again, I'm Sabado. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. The Big Saturday. I was Sabado Gigante because I was the Big Saturday. I'm six foot eight. Um, but really, how I, how, you know, how I got to to creating this channel is really driven by my personal mission statement, which is to uplift the human condition in any way that I can. I'm not an incredibly talented musician or artist or any of those types of things. I don't have. Um, uh, I don't have a specific skill where I can come and juggle for people on, on the video, but what I do have is I'm an individual that came from a disenfranchised background that eventually worked his way and matriculated through the systems in order to retire at the age of 51. And so if, if that's helpful for, for some, great, but I know other people have a different path and I appreciate that. But if that path anyway coincides with, with your path, um, please uh, feel free to, to subscribe. So I grew up in an area of Northern California, and it, it wasn't a horrible area. It was it was a lot more what I would call working class. People had to go to work every day for a living. Nobody had a lot of money, and these are types of areas where, in the '80s, when I was a kid, you had some you had your fair share of drugs, you had your fair share of gangs, and. Uh, you had a significant dropout rate. I remember my high school principal said there was a 55% dropout rate at the high school. And so when you do the numbers, you realize that, um, you know, the chances of me graduating are, 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 are a higher chance that I'm not going to. But, you know, I went ahead and did that and went on, went on to college. One of the one of the ideas when I went to college um, was, and when I, well, let me back up. When I was in high school, I'd get involved with things that dealt with the junior high and the middle schools about not doing drugs and not drinking, wanting to help um, the kids that were coming behind me with a little bit of information. And then I got into high school, or I'm sorry, I got into college, did some of the same work. But when I got to college, I realized that there weren't a lot of people like me that were in college. We had a lot of smart kids that did smart things and got good grades and all those types of things. But you didn't have a lot of kids that were just these normal kids that, that went to college. And so what I told myself at that time was I wanted to be an example of a normal person who can make it and graduate from college because if I can do it, anybody can do it. I was not academic. I hated school. I missed some uh, college basketball camps when I was in high school because I had to go to summer school because I failed classes during the year. I mean, I was a mess. But I also knew that I didn't want to grow up and work at UPS because my neighbor Paul had hurt his back working at UPS. I knew I didn't want to go to the Army because when Sergeant Williams said that you get up at five o'clock in the morning and run, then I knew that's not something that I wanted to do. And I knew that I didn't want to stay at home long and I had to because my father told me that if I stayed at home and wasn't uh, going to school, then I was gonna have to pay rent. 
And so I'd rather use my pity, my 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 piddly little dollars to go out and party every day rather than pay rent. And so that's what I did. So I stayed in school, but I told myself that I was going to, um, you know, that I was going to stay in school just to just to show people that that a normal person could do it. Because if not for myself, for others. Um, so I ended up finishing school, learned some great lessons in school. Um, one of them being don't ever take yourself too serious because, again, I have an episode earlier where I talk about John the homeless guy and basically told me that if I did what he did, then I'd end up like him. And so there was a choice that I had to make and I, I made a different choice. So long story long, I've gone, I went through, graduated from college, started working, had the opportunity to do some some global learning and development work, uh, had the opportunity to lead some uh, hospital uh, healthcare uh, uh, people functions and, and so on. So it was it was a, it was a great time. But what I as I as I started to get to the end, I started to realize that with all of the money that I made, and all the perks that I got, and all the excitement that was given, all the things that uh, went on around work. It really came down to one thing and one thing only, is it came down to time. And I think that as human beings, as Americans, we're conditioned to give up our time for money. And so what we've done is we've essentially put money, uh, the value of money, over the value of time. And so part of my crusade isn't to tell everybody to go out and retire early, because the fact is, a lot of people can't do that. But what a lot of us, we do have the ability to do and we don't maximize is let's look at the quality of our lives. Let's look at the things that uh, us doing the things that we want to do as opposed to consistently doing things that other people want us to do. We go to work not because we want to, because we have to. There's certain things that we do because we have to. But how much of those things that we have to should we not have to do? So the second job, for example, there's a lot of people that aren't living within, within their means. And so they go, you go into debt, and then when you go into that debt, what ends up happening? You end up working a second job, and it takes away from more of your time. Um, you know, you, you, you make choices to chase dollars and cents as opposed to chasing happiness. What are the things that you enjoy to do? You know, my personal mission statement is what drives me towards everything that I've done, uplifting the human condition in any way that I can. What kind of choices are you making because... Um, you just want to chase that dollar. And then the question becomes, like Dr. Phil says, how's that working for you? You might have a couple dollars in your pocket, but what's but that that comes at that comes at, at what cost? And so the idea here of this channel is not for me to preach to you about how everybody should retire early, because I know everybody can't do it. But I think there's steps everybody can take to get towards financial freedom. And whether you're working or not, financial freedom is the key. So let's go after that financial freedom. And that, and and also helping people understand that that process doesn't happen um, overnight. You know, the process for me has been a twenty-five plus year process with about ten or fifteen years of real focus on putting money away and and making sure that things are, are structured right. So it takes time to get there. And then, but you know, when I'm in my mid thirties, mid to late thirties, talking about that, and my friends are talking about me saying, "Oh, you're over planning. You're doing too much." It's like, all right, maybe I'm doing too much. But now here I am at 52 years old and I've been retired for almost a year. And so, you know, it just, it changes things. So my point is it, it, it takes time. Nothing's going to happen overnight. I'm here for the long run. I've got a bunch of information for you. I'm telling you my story. Some of those pieces are going to resonate. Some of those pieces aren't going to resonate. But the one thing I also know is that um, as I look around on YouTube, I don't see a lot of people that look like me with YouTube channels. And I wonder sometimes how many people that look like me are having these conversations about ways to uh, make money, save money, retire early, and do those things at home. I'm sure there's a lot, so I'm not saying that there's not, but I'm saying that not everybody has access to that information. And generally, as you, as you move through the socioeconomic uh, structures, the lower you go, the less you're talking about money, but the more important money is because it's tighter for you to live uh, in those circumstances. And so in order for us to change that paradigm, we got to flip it upside down. And so part of me having these conversations with you is flipping it upside down. Now, the, the last thing I'll mention before I get going here is 
you know, if there's things that if there's things that I'm talking about and they don't seem relatable or they don't seem to make sense, or you want to hear them from a different angle, shoot me a comment. I read every comment. I respond to almost every comment. And the the goal here isn't for me. I'm already retired. I already reached where I wanted to get to in terms of that regard. But I'm trying to help you and and um you know the 500 million of your closest friends uh, realize their dream of of maximizing their time. And so if there's a topic that you'd like to dive deeper in, then let me know. We'll dive deeper into that topic. I have no problem with it. I actually would appreciate that. But again, the the, the channel. Um, this is, this is really a reintroduction. The channel is really for you. It's about you. Um, I hope you've had the opportunity to look at some of my other content. I put up a, a bunch of short videos too to let you know what's going on with me. I also have an Instagram channel that um, uh, I think flashes up at some point during the videos that'll give you a sense of how to get in contact with me. So you can you can uh, shoot me a DM or or something of that nature. And so, because the idea is, is really trying to help as many people as possible, just feel the, um, in a non-academic way, uh, realize their sense of having control over their time and the fulfillment that comes with it. You can be broke, but be fulfilled. Um, and you can have a lot of money and not be fulfilled, which is what happens to a lot of people. So my goal is to help you uh, find that sense of fulfillment by helping you think through some of the decisions that you might make that, that do impact your finances. And so, again, thank you for taking time to listen to my brief reintroduction, but I thought I'd give you something that might be a little bit better than what you got in the beginning, uh, a little bit more clear, a little bit more about me, and also give you a little bit of background about me after you've had some history from watching some of the videos on my channel. So on that note, I hope that you have a good rest of your day, and we will connect soon. You take care and talk to you later.